So the magic happens in there. Okay, what we're looking at is what's going on inside the ski boot. We call it the magic inside the ski boot, and the feet are working in there. And when we watch World Cup ski racers, we see the big angles, we see how far inside they are, and their hips are almost on the snow, but the real magic is in there. And what's going on is, to make a turn in this direction, this would be a left-footed turn, going that way, we're lifting the little toe edge of our foot, and that pushes up into this part of the boot. That's a coaching cue. But one of the interesting things, because it's a triplanar joint, is that your foot actually turns that way when we're going that way. The foot, as that muscle engages and pulls up the outside of the foot, it actually wants to pull the boot this way. And you'll feel the outside foot of the outside of your foot push into that part of the boot. The other thing you're going to feel is the ankle bone pushing in here as you lift the outside edge of your foot, pushing in and tipping the boot over. Of course, when we're going the other way, your foot is turning this direction when you're lifting the arch. So if we're in a right-footed turn, so now we're looking at our inside foot, the arch is going to lift that way. We're lifting the big toe side of our foot, and the boot, or our foot, wants to turn this way inside that ski boot. It doesn't because we have a ski on it, and that ski is engaged in the snow. The secret inside the boot. Now you know. I have five exercises for you that are going to change the way you ski. Three times a week for ten minutes. Exercise number one, simply lifting up the edge of your foot in a seated position. So I start with a, my butt as close to the edge of the seat that I'm on. I've got 90 degrees or approximately, maybe a little bit back from 90, so I have a little bit tighter angle than 90 degrees here. That's okay. And I'm going to lift up the outside edge of my foot. The reason I like this is because the pelvis is locked in place. So all the action has to come down from there. And if you notice, my leg is moving when I do that, but yet I'm not engaging these muscles. That movement comes from the lifting of my foot and down. This is a right-footed turn to the left. When I go that way, obviously, it's this foot. I'm tightening the muscle along the outside of my leg, lifting that part of my foot, and you'll also note that the ankle bone goes in, and you'll actually feel that. This is a good coaching cue. You'll feel the ankle push into the side of the boot. The other coaching cue is that the top outside of your foot will lift up into the boot, and you'll feel that as well. That's another signal that you're getting it right, or another coaching cue. We have two feet, so we have to work on the other foot, so second exercise lifting the arch. So if I lift the outside, little toe side, to go that way, this is my outside foot, my dominant foot, I also have to lift the arch. Exercise number two. Connecting a band to something that's stationary, you're going to work on turning your foot without the knee moving. All the action is occurring between the foot and the tibia, or lower leg. Moving on to exercise number four. It's more or less the same exercise, but going the other direction. You're turning the foot inward against the resistance of the band. All right, last drill that's guaranteed to change your skiing. Remember, do these three times a week for 10 minutes. It's going to change your skiing. Last drill. Now standing, equal weight on both feet. You're going to lift the arc side and then the little toe side. Lift the arc side and the little toe side. A couple coaching cues. Look for the zipper here not to do this. We want to keep the zipper right between the middle of our feet. 
Now, from the side angle, you can see the stance that I'm in. Pretty much equal front to back. I got some flex in my ankle. Hips are over my feet the way we want to ski. We're doing the arc side, lifting it up, and then lifting the little toe side up.